So I started a new custom home in Bronson about a month ago. So I'm gonna go over the first month of construction on this house, which is the foundation phase. So whenever starting a new home, the first step is always the site work, which means bringing in clean fill dirt. Where this house is located, it's in Bronson, you know, right on Archer Road, right down the street from some really great sand pits. So getting the fill dirt, you know, to the job site was super quick and easy. And for a home this size, you know, about 4,000 square feet total, um, with a little bit of slope to the land, we're looking at about 25 loads of fill dirt. And when we get the filter on site, we'll get it spread. We'll, you know, get it compacted for a mono slab. We'll always bring a roller on site and get the filter nice and compacted for the concrete guys. And then, so these shots here are the first day that the concrete guys are on site. So what they're going to do is, you know, on top of the pad that was built, you know, they're going to pull off the stakes that the surveyor put into place and they're going to lay out the foundation, you know, so that means pulling strings and uh, spray painting the ground where the footers go. And then, you know, obviously laying out all their materials and getting many out here to dig the footers. And that's what we're seeing now. And, you know, there's about a two to three day process for the concrete guys, you know, to get the form boards in place, which the plumbers need to pull off of to put the plumbing in the right spot. And so this is what the rough plumbing looks like after it's all been put in, you know. Um, so in Florida, we use PVC drain pipes and then all CPVC water lines. And I know in different parts of the country, there's different preferences on the water lines and even drain pipe differences. Um, but in Florida, the CPVC is the standard as well as the PVC drain lines. So, yeah, this gives you a good visual. So what you're seeing there is the main drain in the house. You know, going out towards that vertical pipe, which is where the septic tank is going to be put. So that's the lowest point of the plumbing, of the drain piping in the house is where the septic tank is going to go. On the far side, you know, the, the piping will start off higher and then it'll slope towards where the, the septic tank is going. This gives you a good overall visual, you know, of all the water lines, um, all the drain pipes. And kind of, you know, it's really important at this phase to make sure there's no leaks and you know, everything's holding pressure. Because obviously once the slab is poured over this, it's a real pain to get to if there is a leak or, or any issues. And so after this phase, we're going to go into uh, slab prep, which is what you're going to see here. And so, you know, once we pass plumbing inspection, um, we recompact all the fill. You know, we fill all the trenches where the plumbing was put in, um, you know, dig out the footers, uh, get termite spray, then put down visqueen and start doing all the engineering, which in this case is, you know, welded wire and rebar in the footers and so forth. And so that's what you're getting a visual of here. And this is also usually a few day process. You know, there's kind of a lot of moving parts here and, you know, hopefully we don't get rained on, you know, during this phase or it doesn't get too windy because, you know, this queen's been known to fly out of the, the foundation and um, as well as the welded wire gets blown, you know, if a really strong uh, storm comes in. So we definitely want to avoid that type of stuff. You know, here you get a kind of a close up shot of the welded wire. You know, it's held up by the mesh ups. You know, you want the welded wire to have some separation between the visqueens. That way, concrete can get underneath it um, and it actually can, you know, provide the strength. Here you see some shots of the interior footers. And, you know, so we're going to go around and show kind of some of the details of the foundation. And so here we got you know, another shot of interior footers. What it's showing is the rebar. So what that footer is doing, it's providing support for a load-bearing interior wall. So that means that trusses inside the middle of the home are sitting on you know a particular spot and bearing. So we need you know a interior footer there, so extra concrete poured as well as rebar. Here we're seeing the exterior foot footers, which are super typical. Um, and so what this is showing is the string that's ran down this long side of the house. And that's how, you know, off these strings, we're making sure that the house is squared up and, the, you know, the, the uh, edge of the foundation is straight. This wall needs to be perfectly straight going down this side. Um, and so you can kind of see the string there up against the form board. And that's what we're going to use to check to make sure the foundation is, you know, straight and square and uh, good to go for framing. And on this house, so this is poor day. Um, so this is about seven o'clock in the morning. We got the boom pump out here. Uh, for this particular property, there's a little bit of a slope to it. You can kind of see it slopes back, back towards the back of the property. And there's quite a bit of fill dirt in. So the ground was real soft. So um, it would have been tough for the concrete truck to get all the way around the foundation on this house. So we brought in the boom pump, um, you know, to help with that. And that's, you know, fairly typical, maybe 
uh, you know, a third of the houses we pour, maybe a half the houses we pour somewhere in that ballpark. We have to bring in the boom pump um, to make sure we get concrete, you know, spread easily throughout the house. And then this is, you know, just kind of an overview of pour day. I um, mean, you know, it's usually, uh, you know, five to six to seven man job. Um, and so here's the foundation. If you can kind of see the difference in color of concrete, we normally pour the main body on a different day than the porches and garage. We kind of split that up. And so um, that's what you're seeing there. But yeah, this is the uh, final slab and we're ready for framing to start next week.